Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. Just want to do a quick video on what a hard uh, face mask for CPR looks like. I know you've seen them around different stores. I uh, may have seen them different on the internet. So I want to do a quick video on what it actually looks like and how to assemble it. Um, American Heart Association, AHA, has gotten away from mouth to mouth for the layperson, for the bystander CPR. They've really gone to hands only CPR, which makes sense. Uh, but so. For CPR for the layperson, if you don't have healthcare training, then you're doing compressions between 100 and 120 uh, compressions a minute, and you don't have to worry about doing mouth to mouth. For the healthcare provider, we are still teaching uh, mouth to mouth along with compressions. It's a 30 to 2 ratio. Uh, so these are good. They still have their place in pre hospital setting in your first aid kit. So they're good to have. This one here has a hard case, so it can be bumped around. It has a little belt loop so you can put it on your belt. If you are a lifeguard, uh, someone that's going to be around water, I'll say this would be a good product for you to have um, around. This particular one comes with a pair of gloves, really cheap, but they'll work in a pinch. Alcohol, this is for wiping the mouth down of your patient. When you go into cardiac arrest, which means you have no uh, heart rate, your pulse is not there and you're not breathing, your smooth muscles and your muscles relax. So what you had for lunch or what you had for dinner is going to come up. So this is just to wipe the patient's face down, help keep it clean just a little bit. You can see coming out of the case, it's laying flat. So we have to form it. And to do that, just take two fingers, push up like that. Now, I don't know if you can read it, but it's got an arrow to so this part to the nose. So you lay it on your patient. This part is going to go across the bridge of their nose. This is going to go across their mouth. And this is going to get a good seal around their face, hopefully. It should. This is a one-way valve. So when all their lunch and dinner we were just talking about comes up, hopefully this one-way valve will catch it and it doesn't go in your mouth. So this is where you'd put your lips. You're going to blow into this. One of the important things is to remember that you've got to get a good seal around this edge on the patient's face to get good chest rise and fall. If you're not getting a good seal, then air is going to leak out around the edges and you're, no air is going to go into the patient's lungs. So there's a couple different ways you can hold this face shield. If this was the patient's head here, their nose is here, their chin uh, around their mouth is here, put this hand here over their face and then this going across their bridge of their nose and their eyes of course would be here and then blow into it. Another way to get a good seal is if our patient is laying this way now, this is their nose, eyes, chin and mouth, is to come here, use two hands, wrap this, and this part here actually goes up under their chin. So you pick their chin up just a little bit. You're not mashing it down, but you actually pick their chin up just a little bit with these fingers. This goes across their cheekbones here get a good seal and then blow into your one-way valve that way. If you are going to choose to hold it this way, it's better if you have two people doing CPR because you're having to rotate to the top of the head and then rotate back around to do CPR compressions. So that will delay compressions and compressions is what's truly going to save your patient's life. So if you're doing this way, it's better to have two people, but if you rotate and you're by yourself, then do compressions, and then you have your one-way valve this way that you can get a good seal on. And there again, for the healthcare provider, what American Heart is teaching is we do 30 compressions and then mouth to mask here, two breaths. So we do 30 compressions, give two rescue breaths, and then go right back to the chest compressions, minimizing hands-off time. This here would go around the patient's head, slip over, that way this doesn't go flying off, it'll stay in a place. This particular one also has a valve here that you can attach oxygen to. These type of CPR masks are very reasonably priced, so it doesn't hurt to have a couple of these lying around in your first aid kit or in your vehicles. Um, because, like I say in every video, you never know when you'll be the first responder, and this is something that will truly save someone's life. I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder.